Welcome to the crossroads of grassroots gravel and blue collar bike packing. I'm Matt, your host, and this is the Gravel Warfare Podcast. Hey, everybody, it's Matt. I am back with the Gravel Warfare Podcast. I know it's been a minute, been gone for a little while. Uh, last time, last time we did a bo- podcast was October, early October. We talked to Ty Bragg about the Trans South Dakota, his 700-ish first bike packing attempt across the great state of South Dakota at the Trans South Dakota. Um, got a lot of positive feedback on that podcast, and it really was a, a great race and a great story Ty had to tell. And uh, after that, I dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, what's What's been going on? What did I miss, right? Um, there's been some stuff, some stuff going on. Um, immediately following that podcast, uh, I tried my own ultra-distance bikepacking race. I uh, went over to Emporia, Kansas, and I signed up and completed the Kansas Cannonball 550, it wasn't easy, you know? Uh, these ultra things are, are really no joke. Uh, but I made it. I carried way too much stuff. I didn't eat right. My knee really hurt. And, uh, you know, there's there's a lot more. But I did finish, as well as some other great competitors did as well. Um, I, I teased and I promised a podcast on that, and it just hasn't came together yet. But it's still on the books. It's still on the radar. We're going to do it. Um, we're, we've got a lot of good content coming up, hopefully. Uh, after that, I, I got the opportunity to help again for, I think, the fourth year up in Sumner, Missouri at the Wild Goose Chase Gravel Grinder. Uh, we had a phenomenal time up there. Uh, you know, real small race, real small town. Uh, pretty, pretty proud this year of the turnout. We had over 100 people turn out to Sumner, Missouri. Uh, the town is is not quite a hundred people in population, and there's very very few amenities. But it is the home of Maxi, the world's largest goose, so that's really something to see. Uh, but we had a great race up there, and everybody stayed safe. We got some really good positive feedback, and and just had an overall great time. We had pretty good weather, and we had a fun course for the 50, challenging course for the 80. And uh, like I say, just overall positive feedback and really looking forward to doing that one again in the fall next year. So that happened. Uh, What else? Big Sugar was supposed to have their inaugural year. That didn't happen. Thanks a lot, COVID. Uh, But sticking around down there in the Arkansas way, Arkansas High Country race happened. Thousand miles. Dude, seriously. And 80,000 feet of climbing. Good Lord, I cannot even imagine. Uh, It it went off without a hitch from from what I'm being told. Kind of followed along there. And uh, my goodness, set all kinds of records, right? Uh, Ted King. Ted, I don't know you. Um, You don't know me. But I've I've watched you. Um, You're fast, dude. And... You know, I've always kind of wondered, like, how would a guy do like that? He's real fast at these, you know, mid-long-distance gravel races, and he's got all kinds of support and fanfare and everything. And how, how would a guy like that do out on his own? Well, we know. We know now. Uh, fastest known time on the Arkansas high country, Ted King. So congrats to you. You showed us. You answered my question. We, we know it. And, uh, you know, not to be, not to be outdone, Ashley Carlock, fastest known time for a female rider, um, just absolutely amazing. And last but not least, you know, Seth Wood, first and only dude to do it on a single speed. Uh, I, I can't imagine. I'm blown away by that. You're the real deal, Seth. So, you know, some, somebody's going to try, but. That's going to be a hard one to top, I'm afraid. Uh, 
What else? Gosh, it's been so long. Um, Ponyboy Curtis died. No, 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 no. Not, not C. Thomas Howell from the movie The Outsiders. Not that Ponyboy Curtis. Ponyboy Curtis was my OG black and gold cosmic stallion. And uh, unfortunately, he suffered a dent in the top tube and also in the down tube. And uh, it was kind of a sad day. But, you know, kudos to all city. Hey, they stepped up and they did the right thing and they warranted out the whole frame. Uh, so that is that is really cool. Um, I now have a, another All City Cosmic Stallion, this time purple and white. So you know, rest in peace, Pony Boy Curtis. But uh, Violet Beauregard lives, and we're gonna make some we're gonna make some rides and have some stories to tell. Hopefully, as soon as the weather warms up a little bit. Uh, what else? Survived a mediocre Missouri duck season. Um, Shot a few ducks, missed a few ducks, broke a little bit of ice, fought with some holes in my waders, tinkered with some finicky two-stroke outboards, but, uh, you know, all in all, we put some duck poppers on the table and got to enjoy that. That was pretty good. I got some new wheels, got some new, new mountain bike wheels. Uh, John and Vinny over at Cantu Wheels hooked me up with an awesome set of carbon Cantus. Uh, I paired them up with some WTB Nano 2.1s and so far I am really enjoying that combination. They are they are good wheels. I've never had carbon wheels before. This is my first set and so far I'm really really enjoying them. Um, what else is what else is newsworthy? Uh, we did we got a new president. So that's over, finally. Uh, hopefully, you know, four more years to an election. Maybe we can stop campaigning now for a while and get all the commercials off TV. I hope. Uh, you'd think so, anyway. Um, this isn't a politics channel, but I'm just kind of over it all. Uh, the Mid-South is now incredibly socially distanced Mid-South. That's unfortunate. Um, that was... That was, you know, seemed like kind of the last big get-together was last year, and it was kind of tainted by the COVID, but uh, I was there. It was fun-ish. <laughs> it was a lot of mud. It was pretty sloppy, but it was really a good time, and, and Bobby works so hard and does a great job on that race, and, you know, despite what some people may say, it is grassroots. Um, and, you know... Kudos to him, too. He is an innovator. Uh, this incredibly distanced Mid-South. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you're into that sort of thing or not. But, you know, he's making lemons out of lemonade. Uh, I don't know what else you're going to do. But he's still trying to get people excited about it. Everybody's riding their own routes around the country and sharing it online. And, you know, that's probably the right thing to do right now. And kudos to him for, for not giving up and doing something. So I think that's... I think that's great. Uh, what else? To whom it may concern, Kansas City Chiefs lost the Super Bowl. Uh, I don't really live and die by football, but I'm from the Kansas City area, so it's kind of a big deal around here. Um, you know, I don't know, Patrick Mahomes never showed up to watch me do my job, and so, you know, I don't really have a whole lot invested in that, but, you know, if you're... If, if you like that sort of thing, I think that was kind of heartbreaking, but we'll probably survive. Gravel Warfare World Headquarters, you know, the Whiskey Snug over in Weston, Missouri. Uh, they got a remodel. I haven't been yet, but I heard it is pretty darn nice. And so I'm really hoping soon uh, I can get some more people to interview and, and maybe hang out at the Whiskey Snug and have a little glass of bourbon and see their new digs. Um, that's always a great time up in the Whiskey Snug. I don't know, I think that probably is a fair recap of what we missed since last October. Uh, meanwhile, while that's all been going on, where have I been? I don't know, I've been here. Uh, I didn't die from COVID. I didn't even get sick from COVID. I don't think I've ever had it yet. So, that's a good thing. I 
Didn't get attacked by a mountain lion on the Cannonball 550. Saw one. Promise. But it didn't attack me. I wasn't involved in storming the Capitol. I didn't get arrested for that. And as far as I know, I haven't incited any erections either, to my knowledge, which is a good thing. Um, I didn't make a million dollars in GameStop trades and retire to a tropical island. Um, and I didn't get involved in the purge from social media. I've been absent there, but nobody purged me. I just took a break. Uh, I knocked a few honeydews off the honeydew list and uh, just grew my beard, I guess. Um, just needed a break for a while, but I'm back. I guess I never really went away, uh, but I'm back. The podcast is back. What's next? What are we doing next? I'm stripping down Amy Lou Harris. I, I probably need to explain that. I don't mean the Amy Lou Harris. Uh, it's, a, it's my bike. Uh, I got it right before the cannonball. And uh, it's a titanium salsa timber jack. I only put about 100 miles on it before I did the 550 and wasn't quite set up the way I like, but I'm stripping it down. Uh, taking off the suspension fork, taking off all those pesky gears. Uh, I'm going to try single speed for a while on that guy, um, or girl, as it were. I think that's kind of the theme, maybe, of 2021 for me, is simplify, strip it all down. Um, I'm kind of over all the COVID stuff, to be quite honest with you. It's, it's ran its course with me, and just maybe simplify life, focus on some things that are, that are more important to me. Um, I'm looking forward to, uh, taking it out to the spring solstice spoon swap. You guys heard of that one? March 19th, um, out at Teeter Rock in the Flint Hills. It's, uh, southwest of Emporia. I think you can find some info about it on bikepacking.com. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I've already carved my spoon. It's, it's ready. It's ready to go. So hopefully we'll have some warmer weather, but... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load the bike up and go out to that and hang out. So if you're there, maybe I'll see you there. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll bring a microphone and get something on tape for the podcast. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, this is a pretty unique event focused around spoon carving and just getting together, hanging out, bike packing. You know, no, no real competition, I don't think. Just, uh, just buddies hanging out. I plan on going back to open range. I'm going to do the bike packing event there, again, the overnighter in open range out in Pratt, Kansas. Went there last year, did a podcast on it, did two podcasts on it. Uh, we talked to Eric, the uh, race promoter, and then we did a ladies of open range podcast afterwards. Um, got some good feedback on those. And, you know, it's a, it's a worthwhile, it's a worthwhile event, really unique scenery. It's beautiful out there. And I think I'm going to go there. Uh, after that, I'm just kind of playing it by ear. I don't really have a whole lot planned. We'll see how it goes, you know. This this vaccine is rolling out. People are getting the vaccine. Maybe soon we'll be able to gather at start lines and finish lines at some awesome grassroots events all across the Midwest. Um, that's our hope anyway. We, we hope for maybe to get this thing back to normal. Get everybody out on bikes, you know. Bike sales went up during this COVID thing. Now let's get them out on gravel. So that'd be pretty cool. As far as podcast goes, um, we're back officially. I mean, we never left. I'm here. Just took a little break for a while. Uh, I got some few things in the hopper, you know. Uh, I really need to get that uh, Cannonball podcast done. I think that's really going to be a good one. But um, it, it's it's a little tough to get everybody together right now and uh, find the find the time and willing participants to, to do it the way I want to do it. Um, but uh, I, I look forward to hoping, hopefully finding some consistency with the podcast this year. Um, coming up next on the podcast, I've got something special for the ladies. Uh, Dirt Road Debutante Gravel Academy, you guys heard of this? Um, I'm going to interview, well, I'm going to interview my wife, uh, President of Dark Early Racing and founder of the Dirt Road Debutante Gravel Academy. Also, the stoker 
of the two-headed monster when we take the tandem out. Um, it's going to be a good one. Um, this, this clinic, this uh, Dirt Road Debutante Gravel Academy, ladies only gravel riding clinic, um, fairly unique deal, really well put together, and uh, I want her on the podcast. It's, we, we probably should have done that one a long time ago, but uh, it's not forgotten. We're going to do it, and it'll be up soon. So follow along on social media. Uh, make sure you don't miss anything. Uh, you have any requests, you have any comments, you know, let me know. We're back. Uh, until next time, hey, go ride your story. See ya. Thanks for listening to the Gravel Warfare Podcast. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. And until next time, go ride your story.